How are you? How's everybody? Good. I have a potty mouth, so um, I'm going to ask. I'm not, I promised Stone that I wouldn't swear. Someone to give me one word syllable in case I need to express myself more. Yikes. yikes? I can't say yikes and yikes. It doesn't work. <laughs> give me another one. Somebody. Anybody. Ish? Fish? Fish is great. Of course you picked fish. Um, so anyway, so I attribute my career and the success that I have because I realize that everything's always going to be fine. Um, this year has been interesting. Um, you know, just to give a little CV, I, um, I'm all, you know, I'm a trader, yes. Uh, I am a trading, I had my own trading fund. I've also um, become a venture capitalist, which kind of fell in my lap because of the fact that I've always known that I'm fine. Um, I'm a hippie, as you can see. People jokingly say that I wear capes, which I do, <laughs> which is fine too. Not in the summer, it works, does not work out. Um, but yeah, so anyway, fast forward, I just want to talk about some stuff. Um, we are our own worst enemy. We like to think that we're going to fail. And so, as we just heard from Heather, you think that you're going to lose before you start. If I thought about that, I would not be where I'm at right now. Um, there's a story that I, I tell everybody, especially on my talk show. Um, I was working for seven guys in the soybean meal pit, and I knew I was smarter than them, even though they were my bosses. They paid my checks. Uh, and so they're sitting, we're sitting here, whatever, and there is a $75,000 error. And I saw it because they jokingly also say that I have eagle eyes. I, I'm probably one of the more observant people I've ever met, to a fault. And so we're standing there, and I see this. And so I think, I could be a trader. Why couldn't I be a trader? What's the difference? And I don't see glass ceilings. I break through them, hence my cape. <laughs> so I'm standing there, and I say to this person, I want to meet with all you guys. I'm 24 years old. I'm 36 now. Botox is awesome. And so I'm standing there and I say to them, I want to meet with you guys after work, right? And so it's 1.15 was when that, that market closed. Um, and I go upstairs and my little scrawny, you know, a lot skinnier back then. And standing up there, I'm sitting, my, it's my first pitch, I'm 24 years old. And I tell them, I want to be a trader. These are the reasons why. And they say to me, Three of, three of the guys said yes, three of the guys said no, and the seventh person, who I used to hang out with, said that we'll never have a female trader in our group. So I went, done. Um, the next week, this guy that actually said yes was treating me like fish, and this, I knew I was going to say it, right? <laughs> so, right, and so it's going to get more fishy as we talk about this. So... I'm standing at this, this little EC is what they call it, and you have to put markets in, you know, like put the, uh, the trades that were executed and you're arbing back and forth, and he starts screaming at me, and he's got his BMW dealer, like sitting there trying to show off. And I looked at him, and I said, can you not treat me like fishy fish and fish and fish and fish and fish and fish? And, fish? and then he said, you're fired, which makes sense. And I walked in between the, meal, the meal pit and the oil pit, and... Someone said, did you just get fired? And I was like, yeah, I was on vacation, like, for a minute, right? I got a job in 30 seconds. And I'm like, wait, no, hold on a second. Like, this is great. It's like a Wednesday. Like, this is, I have the whole weekend off now. Um, and he was like, yeah, so I said, you know what? We need, to go, we need to go sit. So there's this horse statue that's over at 440 South LaSalle, which is the CBOE building connected to the train. And uh, I said, I'm not doing this unless I'm a trader. He said, you want me to teach you how to trade? Yes, I want you to teach me how to trade. Learned how to trade. That moment of being able to let go of something in order to realize that you're better than other things that are put in front of you that you most likely put in front of yourself, understanding limitations, X, Y, and Z, will make you realize how fishing strong you are. <laughs> and there are so many situations that are going to be in front of you. Um, another story, which 
I don't talk about, which just happened, which is how I got put up the stairs. Um, August 16th, I was standing on the corner of a street and some guy beat the crap out of me. That wasn't fun. He ruined my nose, but I, somehow I'm going to get a nose job out of this. So this is good. Um, let's see what happened. Uh, broke my nose, shattered my skull, busted my lip. I sprained my ankle eventually because of the weakness. But unfortunately, this dude did not realize that I was a kickboxer for six years. And so I also broke my hand on his face. I think that deserves applause, just by the way. <laughs> So, thank you. That feels good. Um, and so you go through this, but if I would have quit and allowed him to do whatever he was trying to do, I wouldn't be standing here right now. And you have to believe in yourself, no matter what is in front of you. You have to believe. And, you know, they jokingly call me Khaleesi because I stick up for all the people that I work with, and I love dragons because I'm a dork. And I also will sit there and give you a hug when I see you. I think we've already raked some people in the audience so far. I've given out bracelets yesterday. I've hugged many, probably half of you in the audience. But you have to have that. You have to realize who you are and be genuine and, and, and believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in who you are, who else is going to believe? You are born and died. You, born, you are born and you die with yourself. And it's about raising the elevation and the energy that's around you to inspire people to be the best versions of themselves. We just heard about spirit, spirit's huge. My heart shines when people smile and I'm able to help them. My career has been completely based off of helping people and because I've been genuine to how big of a hippie I am, even in a business meeting with billionaires, with my ripped jeans, my mother's mad at me that I'm wearing jeans today. Um, you have to just be who you are and if you're not true to who you are, it's not gonna work. I'm okay with being masculine, I'm okay with being feminine, I'm okay with being the person you don't want to sit on the other side of the fence with the negotiating, but I'm also okay with the person that makes pasta sauce for the startups that I work with because they're on food stamps. So as long as you're true to who you are and believe in who you are and what you are, believe in other people, don't minimize people, don't demean people to make yourself feel better, build yourself up, and other people will be built up too. By the way, I didn't write this speech, I'm totally half fishing it. <laughs> um, so that's it, you know, just be true to exactly who you are and always remember that, you know, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay not to be the strongest person in the room. I'm not used to that. Dawn's going to help me down the stairs now. Um, but I just want you guys to know that, you know, even I'll be around. Anyone has any questions, you know, I'm also a spiritual counselor, of course. So, um, but I just want to thank you guys for your time, and I hope that I can help you guys in any way. But maybe take a message from this and give someone a hug. Don't be creepy, but give someone a hug. <laughs> uh, and see how that feels to put your hearts together, because that's what we need right now anyway.